Hello, in this video we're going to go over the solution to problem B1 from Putnam 2022. Um, so it, gave us a poly it gives us a polynomial P of x, a1x, all the way to a n, x to the power of n, and it tells us that the coefficients are all integer and the uh, linear coefficient is odd. Then it asks you to show that if you write down the power series for e to the power of P of x centered at 0, all of the coefficients are non-zero. Um, the first thing that might come to mind is perhaps we can write down e to the power of p of x uh, using its power series and then evaluate the um, coefficients, uh, perhaps find a formula or somehow show that the coefficients are all non-zero. That might be possible, but it seems like a little bit of a challenge. So instead, what I thought about this problem was that I know a formula for each one of these. If you have a function that is equal to its Taylor series center at zero, then um, I can find a formula for bk. That's if k evaluated at zero divided by k factorial. So if I can find the kth derivative of this function, then I plug in zero and then I show that that's non-zero. So let's call this f of x e to the power of p of x and let's just start looking at the values at 0, derivatives at 0 and so on. So f of 0 is 1 which is clearly non-zero. Let's take the derivative by the chain rule we get this that's p prime of x p prime of 0 if I plug in 0 p of 0 is, is 0 so e to the power of 0 that's just 1 we can ignore that. p prime of 0 is going to be a1 which is odd so of course that's non-zero. If you look at f double prime you'll have to use the product rule and chain rule plus e to the power of p of x p double prime of x e to the power of p of x p prime squared plus p double prime. Now plug in zero p prime of 0 is a1, so that's a1 squared. p double prime, if you take the second derivative, you get the coefficient of uh, ax squared, double that. So that's 2a2. And this is also odd. So perhaps we can always show that uh, if n of 0 is odd. And in order to do that, we need to somewhat work inductively because finding a formula for fn isn't possible, or at least it's not. Uh, easy. So let's take fn of x. It looks like the form of fn of x is e to the power of p of x times a polynomial. And I would need qn of 0 to be non zero. And in fact, it looks like from what the observations that we have had that this is odd. So let's take the second derivative, next derivative of this and see if there's a way we can actually prove this one. So if you use the chain rule and product rule, you're going to get this. If you plug in 0 here, p prime of 0 is a1, q prime of 0 is odd, and then we get qn prime of 0. This is qn plus 1 of 0. This is odd. In order for this to be odd, we need this to be even. So. In order to prove our claim, we would need two things. We would need qn of 0 to be odd and also qn prime of 0 to be even. So we need both of them. So in order to prove this one inductively, then we'll have to um, um, strengthen our claim, inductive claim. So let's do that. So let's write down a solution now. I think we should be able to get to the solution. Okay. For simplicity, let's call that function f of x. We claim f n of x is equal to e to the power of p of x, q n of x, where q n is a polynomial with integer coefficients 
and qn of 0 is odd and qn prime of 0 is even okay we prove this one uh, by induction we prove this claim by induction on n now you can start from n equals 1 or even n equals 0 so let's start with n equals 0 just to make things a bit simpler so basic step for n equals 0 f of x is e to the power of p of x so q 0 of x is 1 q n uh, q 0 prime Um, is just zero. So thus, um, and so that just basically proves the basis step because this is odd, and this is even. Okay, now let's look at inductive step. Suppose the claim holds for some n greater than or equal to 0. So we're going to take the second next derivative if n plus 1 of x becomes e to the power of p of x p prime of x q n of x I'm using the chain rule plus q n prime of x q n plus 1 of x equals p prime q n plus q n prime is a polynomial qn qn plus 1 of 0 is p prime of 0 which is a1 times qn of 0 plus qn prime of 0 which is odd since a1 and qn of 0 are odd and q n prime of zero is even so this would be odd but because i made the assumption that q n prime of zero is even i also need to prove that q n plus one of uh, q n plus one prime of uh, zero is even so let's evaluate this this is going to be i'm going to evaluate it at x and then we'll plug in zero this would be p double prime of x so i'll have to use the product rule q n of x plus p prime of x um, q n prime of x plus q n double prime of x okay now if you plug in 0, qn plus 1 prime of 0, it would be p double prime of 0, qn of 0, plus p prime of 0, qn prime of 0, plus qn double prime of 0. If you look at uh, p double prime of 0, this would be 2a2. This is even. Uh, qn prime of 0 is also even. by inductive hypothesis q and double prime of zero is double the co uh, coefficient of the quadratic coefficient if q n is q zero plus q one x plus q two x squared plus etc um, and that's even because uh, qn has integer coefficients so it's equal to that which is even if you have this thus so I have every term is even this is even this is even and this is even thus qn plus 1 of 0 is even uh, qn plus 1 prime of 0 is even Okay, so therefore we proved what we wanted. 
So thus f n of 0, which is e to the power of p of 0, q n of 0, which is q, p of 0 is 0, so e to the power of 0 is 1, is odd. And that means f n of 0 is not 0. Now, if you look at b n, b n is f n of 0 over n factorial, so that's well known. And that is zero. And that's exactly what we wanted to prove. Okay, so if you like this uh, video and you would like to continue with the competition preparation, feel free to subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.